PhD in neurobiology and biomedical engineering from Cornell University. And I've been doing uh, uh, sort of research in the biomedical fields for the last 20, 20 to 30 years. I actually started when I was a really young, young kid with my dad. Uh, SAM, standing for Sustained Acoustic Medicine, has uh, been an innovation that's happened over the, all, over the last 15 years. It's finally here in the healthcare system of why I'm here, uh, happy to present it to you. i just like to do a quick little audience poll today. A anyone in the audience uh, familiar with SAM or prescribe SAM or use SAM or just get a raise of hands? All right, so that's probably like 15, 15% of the audience. So uh, I'm glad to be able to explain a little bit more about what, uh, what sustained acoustic medicine is. Uh, objective of this presentation today is to provide an educational overview of what SAM is and utilization differentiation here in the Hawaiian healthcare system. Uh, it's really focused here on workplace uh, injuries, tendons, ligaments, soft tissue injuries, where we accelerate soft tissue repair and return to work. We're going to talk about our clinical evidence uh, and uh, real world uh, clinical outcomes in patient systems and the cost savings associated with SAM. So, low intensity ultrasound. SAM is the only FDA approved, the only, there's only one SAM, FDA approved multi hour long duration ultrasound device to accelerate soft tissue healing. Uh, and achieve MMI, maximum medical improvement, in eight to 10 weeks on tendon ligaments and back strains. Uh, it's been funded, this is a key thing, it's been funded by the National Institutes of Health, NASA, Department of Defense, uh, National Science Foundation, and another number of private organizations. It's been over $30 million worth of clinical validation and evidence-based evidence medicine on the technology, funded by everyone in this room, U.S. tax dollars. Uh, the initiatives were funded by the U.S. because they were looking for uh, non-invasive new solutions for opioid epidemic and actually reducing surgical costs and improving surgical outcomes post-surgery. So that's why the, uh, the government got really excited about funding this, and now it's actually being utilized across the government in the VA sector and active duty military. Uh, FDA approved in 2013, 15 level one through five uh, clinical studies on the technologies. And to this day, it was, since it's been approved, we've made market entrance in 2014, there's only been about 100,000 people here treated in the USA. So we're just starting to scratch the surface, but those are 100,000 successful treatments of SAM, and it's manufactured right here in the USA, Trumbull, Connecticut, Minnesota, and Massachusetts. Uh, all, all Americans building this product with 46 US patents on the technology. Do not confuse SAM with any electrical stimuli. It might look like a TENS device there. It's not TENS, it's not pulse magnetic field. Uh, all those technologies were evolved in the 80s, the 90s. It's really old technology. This is current technology. This was approved 2014. Recent innovations, the only multi-hour ultrasound uh, device for soft tissue healing. Mechanisms of action. It accelerates collagen matrix rebuilding. It stimulates angiogenesis, that's blood vessel development in these tissues. It increases cytokine enzyme and cellular waste removal. Influx of good nutrients, the removal of waste products out of the tissue. And of course, it increases oxygenated blood flow and multi-hour blood flow. SAM is applied four hours a day, seven days a week to accelerate soft tissue healing. And the outcome of that is pain reduction for the patients. My name's Sean Pinkston. Um, I volunteered for uh, the U.S. Army after 9-11. I injured my back when I was in the Army. I also injured my right knee. Uh, my knee requires some surgery um, uh, to repair the meniscus. And then lower back, I'm a non-surgical candidate. So that's just kind of chronic pain that has been, that I've experienced since 2005. I started to notice some improvement probably day three or even day four. Um, so it was fairly quick in my shoulder. Lower back, um, I've used it there, I would probably say about the same time, two, three, even four day period. So I noticed it within the first week really of using it, an improvement. And then usually when I go back to using it again, um, I notice an improvement day one, even day two, um, a lessening of the pain. Tissue remodeling is a complex physiological response that occurs after an injury. Natural limitations to this process often lead to mechanically inferior tissue, adhesions, and chronic pain conditions, especially in tendons which have limited blood and nutrient supply. Sustained Acoustic Medicine, or SAM, is a new wearable technology that utilizes mechanical ultrasound waves to promote the healing cascade. Different from traditional ultrasound, SAM applies a mild mechanical stimulation to the tissue over multiple hours, providing enhanced recovery benefits. SAM's continuous ultrasound waves produce a convective flow called acoustic streaming, 
up to 5 centimeters into tissue. Combined with an increase in heat and circulation, the sustained mechanical pressure increases the bulk flow, pumping nutrients and growth factors throughout damaged areas, enhancing natural healing. When SAM is applied, the mechanical forces activate cell membrane receptors, enhancing cellular proliferation. One important mechanism is the upregulation of transforming growth factor beta, which increases type 1 and type 3 collagen deposition and promotes native tissue regeneration. The result is greater tensile strength and improved biomechanical properties of the tendon. So, you know, if you see something, SAM, there's nothing else like SAM. Uh, high profile workplace injuries, there's over 50% of professional athletes in the US right now get treated with SAM daily, and 50% of college athletes. So when they get injured on the job, SAM is prescribed, it's covered by their insurance carriers to return them to work uh, quickly and effectively. It's a medical device that heals. It achieves maximum medical improvement in eight to 10 weeks. It lowers treatment costs by $27,000, and it reduces out of work time by 16 weeks. Again, an important note. And independent clinical evidence that we'll go over and real-world clinical outcome data shows the benefits to both the patients, the payers, the healthcare providers, and the whole healthcare ecosystem. And again, that's why it's received the funding from the US government. But the key bullet points, low-intensity ultrasound for promoting soft tissue healing. The key outcome of that research study, the use of SAM treatment in tendon, muscle, ligament, and tendon bone junction injuries is supported by the literature and proven. Another study, the intramuscular heating characteristics of multi-hour low-intensity ultrasound. SAM therapeutic levels reduce pain and simulate soft tissue healing. Another study, another review article actually, on the effects of low-intensity therapeutic ultrasound on measurable clinical outcomes, a critically appraised topic. The clinical conclusion in the article, the evidence supports the use of SAM to increase tissue temperature, decrease pain, and increase function. Another study on tendinopathy, for example, rotator cuff, 100% response to the treatment and improvement in function. There's also grip strength pain reductions in this cohort of subjects. Another study, again on SAM, the design and evaluation of the SAM device for chronic myofascial pain, reduced narcotic use and opioid use in the active treatment group compared to the placebo group. And finally, one of our largest cohorts of data and patients is on arthritis. We've been approved by the U.S. government, uh, the veteran population and active duty population for osteoarthritis as a non-invasive, non-surgical osteoprotective mechanism to improve function, reduce pain, and prolong the use of the joint. Significant functional improvements in stiffness with over 505 points on the WOMAC scale, which is about a 50% improvement for moderate to severe arthritis patients. Beyond the clinical research, which sometimes uh, people look at saying, oh, you really controlled your study population, you selected it for your specific indication. Well, yes, we did, because it had to be done to get the FDA approval. Very controlled studies in the clinical setting. We also have done real-world outcomes data in the real workplace environment. This was from a cohort of 77 sequential patients in Colorado, uh, looking at various work workplace injuries in a retrospective analysis. Take notes here. On workplace outcomes data on elbow and shoulder injuries, the clinical studies actually mirror the real-world studies on patients. 19 and 24 PT sessions, both if you look at the elbow data there and the shoulder data, before using SAM, patients were in physical therapy for 19 sessions and 24 sessions, not responding to physical therapy. When SAM is introduced to the equation, Eight weeks of SAM for elbow, eight weeks of SAM for shoulder results in MMI and return to work in all cases of these patients. It's both a five point and six point on the uh, outcomes data improvement on patients before they return to work. In uh, cervical and uh, you know, lower back and upper back injuries, 34 physical therapy sessions before SAM was introduced. 10 weeks of SAM with combined with physical therapy, all patients returned to work with ADL levels, work leisure, and anxiety, depression, and social interest scales all significantly improved on those patients when they return to work. Eight weeks for rotator cuff and elbows, 10 weeks for the back, achieving MMI. What does this mean to the healthcare system? Well, the average cost, according to the National Safety Council, and you guys see here, it's actually higher in Hawaii. When a patient goes sees a doctor, it's $39,000 minimum for that patient's back to work. It's $39,000 of indemnity, 
lost work, medical uh, processing fees in the insurance market. The patient walks in, they might have PT, they might have some rest, they're not recovering, they might get a TENS device, they might get a magnetic pulse device, it's not working while well, the patient proceeds on to an MRI, a PRP, imaging surgically. Out of work, 26 weeks, over about $40,000 in expenses on that patient, all right? When SAMS introduced clinically proven and health economically proven to reduce that cost, reduce the out of work time to eight to 10 weeks and cost the, the health system about $12,000. So the total savings is $27,000 when SAMS introduced early into the treatment and the care of the patient. In summary, there's only one SAM. There's 46 US and international patents on the technology, 15 clinical studies on MMI and medical uh, improvement, funded by the NIH, NSF, DOD, and it's the only FDA-approved multi-hour ultrasound device. Eight weeks of SAM returns most patients to work, unless it's a lower back injury, then it's 10 weeks on SAM. Treatment cases, you can see from frayed Achilles to ankle sprains, metatarsals, lateral epicondylitis, frozen shoulder, any soft tissue, tendon, or ligament, it can actually move more quickly. And uh, I'm going to end because there's a lot more to go over, but that's the end of my uh, presentation. Any questions before I ask questions from you? Hello. 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 Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, impressive uh, studies, but I'm a uh, question in my mind. I didn't see any studies on disc derangement herniation, which is the bane of mankind and the work comp system for payers and employers alike. Uh, do you have are there any studies ongoing or coming out on that? And the reason I ask is because I I have some experience with Sam in our clinic. Now we probably have dispensed maybe 12 of them so far. I had one case that was, it was a frank disc herniation with radiculopathy. It looked surgical from the day one, and we got finally got a Sam in there. It had been about four weeks, and it totally turned the case around. So I, that's my testimony on how effective it can be. But I wish they'd have some studies on discs because those are, uh, those are the things that we do cause the system. So on discs, uh, we received uh, a number of uh, funding cycles from NASA and National Space Biomedical Research Institute on chronic uh, low back pain from disc radiation. When astronauts go up into space, their spines expand. And when they come back down to space, they get uh, under the microgravity environment, their spines contract. And they have an over 50 to 60 percent uh, chance of actually developing a disc herniation. Thus, they funded research on herniated discs. Um, in that population, we showed that we reduced uh, pressure and uh, the inflammatory response in the herniation to reduce pressure on the nerves, which reduced pain. Uh, they had a, about an improvement of a 30 to 40 percent in pain and functional gains on herniated discs. And that data is actually in the process of being published. So it's, it's new data. Uh, hasn't been peer, peer went to the peer review publication process. Uh, additionally, uh, I am a dork. We've been doing our research on this for, for decades. We just received another National Institutes of Health grant uh, from the National Institutes of Aging for another clinical trial on uh, osteoarthritis as well. So we continue to do research on the, the innovation in this medical treatment. Hi there. I'm just curious, uh, as a regular person, not a doctor, how fast can you actually get the device? Do you have to have this to prescribe or you can get it? Uh, great question. So this is a class two medical device. Uh, so it requires a physician's prescription, and then it's uh, uh, actually managed by a DME provider to make sure the patient's using it correctly and applied correctly with their medical uh, as the doctor prescribes it. So it's not something like a TENS that you can get you know, at CVS or Walgreens. It's not over the counter. Uh, it requires a medical prescription. Um, my name is Yvonne. Um, you didn't cover, or I didn't hear it, the jewels of energy. Ah, someone's paying attention to their notes. All right, so thank you. All right, so uh, there is a question about that. Uh, so, so Sam, uh, traditionally ultrasound is applied in the physical therapy setting. During physical therapy, they may apply for five or ten minutes, and that delivers approximately 2,000 joules of energy during physical therapy. 2,000 joules in physical therapy. A, uh, a bone growth stimulator. You guys might be familiar with like the Exogen BioVentis bone growth stimulator that does pulsed ultrasound. That's 20 minutes daily, very effective on fracture healing, delivers 700 joules of energy. Why is SAM so amazing? SAM delivers the mild mechanical stimulus for four hours at a much higher dose. It actually delivers 18,000 joules of energy four hours a day, five days to seven days a week. So 18,000 joules compared to you know, 2,000 once a week. And that's the, the big difference between SAM and all my PhD research on long-duration ultrasound.
Oh, I got two questions. Um, my name is Samantha, but uh, I'm just curious, how much does a SAMS unit cost? So the SAM device, the actual system, uh, it includes two ultrasound heads, a battery pack, and then it comes with uh, ultrasound coupling patches. Um, the patches uh, and system combined for about an eight-week treatment is approximately $5,000, uh, and that's worked into the health economics of the slides I showed right there. Um, so it, it's not an inexpensive device, it's, but it's an extremely effective device. And when you put it next to surgery or even our narcotics, that's where the government has backed it because it's, uh, it might seem expensive, but the clinical value is so, so meaningful to the healthcare system. Thank you. So this is a machine that somebody can take home with them, or you can use it in a facility. Um, what if you don't have four hours? What if the person doesn't want to have four hours? Or what happens if they do it for a shorter duration of time? What benefits do they get from it? Uh, great, great question. So uh, in, in all of our clinical studies, and 99% and, uh, of our use cases, Patients are using this as part of during their daily treatment regime or daily life. So they walk, they go to the store with it, they go back to work with it. Generally, a doctor will prescribe a light workload back in the work, so they are getting four hours a day. Uh, there have been uses of lower, um, lower dosing for uh, um, you know, uh, osteochondral and, and bone type applications, but for soft tissue, it's very important to get at least a two to four hour treatment a day. In the professional athletic world and college athletic world, they're actually using it eight hours a day, um, uh, prescribed by a doctor, because what, what's, SAM's not magical. It just amplifies the body's natural and healing cascade, and it's active while the ultrasound's active. So the more you do, the more stimulation you have to accelerate soft tissue repair. Can the body build a tolerance? Can, can a body build a tolerance to it? So um, for healing injuries, no, we have not had that. But I'm, we are doing a longitudinal study. It's a multi-year longitudinal study funded by everyone in this room, uh, the National Institutes of Health, um, on arthritis. And we're not only looking at if the body develops tolerance, but we're actually looking at progressing the use of the joint out, you know, so they don't need a knee replacement. There's a really cool mechanism. Because SAM halts the inflammatory cascade and stimulates soft tissue healing, in chronic disease states like osteoarthritis, which is continuous, uh, all of our animal model data show that we slow the progression halt the disease. Now we're actually doing it in humans, and we're actually, we're actually measuring cytokines from actual people's knees. And it's, it's, it's a you know, longitudinal study, it's going to be a 10 year project. Uh, but in 10 years, you know, we may have this really innovative SAM type knee brace that you will not need a knee replacement. You can actually heal your cartilage in your knee. That's kind of my whole, that's what really got me excited about. I'm, I'm a really passionate scientist about healthcare and biomedicine, and that's really one of my big visions to see if we can do that.